Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a fun, spooky season project. So let's get cracking. Of course, friends, step one is to visit Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google. Once you're there, friends, let's hit plus and choose a brand new 3D design. We're going to make a really fun piece of candy corn and add fun faces to it. Friends, let me show you how slick this project can be. Friends, the first piece we're going to use is a paraboloid. I want you to bring it out, hold down shift, stretch it up to Crazyville, then type 21 and press enter. Now we're using 21 because it gives us some sweet math. If you haven't looked at candy corn, remember it goes yellow, orange, and then white, and then I'm going to cut it evenly, which is why we chose 21, because 7 times 3 is 21. Now that we've got our piece of candy corn, let's do control D. I'm going to do shift nudge to move that away, and then control D again. And we need to make these the right colors. We need to have a yellow, an orange, and then the last one stays white. The next step is to bring out a box. We do need to take this box and make it a little bigger. I'm going to tell you to type 21. That way it matches our other shape. And then we're going to just change the height to 14 and press enter. If we select these two and we do a line, I'm going to align it to the yellow one. So there's my middle, my middle, and I'm going to choose the top. Now we're going to use this same one over here for the white. If we do control D and move it over, so I'm using shift nudge and then D for drop, you'll see that lines up perfectly and that leaves all of that piece. So now the last thing we need to do, I'm going to do control D, shift nudge three times to bring it over. If we change this to seven and then we do control D and take that new one and I'm going to do control up and we need to align it with the top. So to be perfect, I'm going to select those two, click a line, click the middle of the orange, make sure it has top, and boom, it does. So we're perfect. Friends, are you ready for this? Control G to group. This time I'll use the group button. Both work the same. And Control G to group. We can now take those three, and if you do a line, and we put them all center, boom you have got a cute little piece of candy corn. Now we are gonna do one more upgrade. I want you to select it all and I want you to do flip. So for a moment, we want the large size up here. Hit W for work plane and put the work plane on top. We are going to bring out a half sphere and we do have to hold down shift and stretch it. The number we have to make is 21 and press enter. Then we can take those two, we can click a line, I'm going to make the yellow one the boss because those were aligned and do middle and middle. So that is all groovy. I'm going to make this a little shorter because that's how I want it to be. And now I'm going to make it yellow. So I'm going to switch back to here. I'm going to grab my entire piece of candy corn and I'm going to hit group. Let's put the work plane back on the ground. Let's turn on multicolor and let's flip it back the way it's supposed to be. Boom instant candy corn. Now I want it to be a little bit skinnier. You can pick how much you choose. I also want it to sit flat. So I'm going to bring out another cube. I don't have to change anything but the height and I'm going to choose three and press enter. If we select them and do a line, we want to do middle and middle. When we do group, now we can do D to drop. And that is our fantastic little piece of candy corn. Have fun, adjust it to get it the way you want. And here comes the next super fun step. Instead of just plain candy corn, let's add faces, hats, anything you can think of to make your piece of candy corn unbelievably awesome. So I am gonna first start with the built-in things. I'm gonna go to creatures and characters. I'm gonna pick from the eyes. I think I want to use the angry eyes. They are pretty darn cute. They are so easy to bring in. I can adjust them with the arrow keys. I'm going to do shift nudge to squeeze them down, pull it towards me. And then I always love to do control D, move it to the other side and flip it. So just like that, bang, I have got two cute eyes. Now you can select those two. So I'm doing shift select and I'm doing group and then you can do a line so that you've got those lined up. Now I want to add something else. I think the mustache looks pretty cool, but I'm going to go over here and check hats. 
I'm going to give it a silly beret. So I'm going to pull the beret in the middle and I'm going to do control up to raise it up. I'm going to do shift squeeze to shrink it so it looks the right size. Do my control up to get it the way I want. Rotate it the way I want. Pick a color that I think is cool. I think I'm going to give him a little black beret. I'm going to do a little bit more of the shift squeeze because I think it needs to be smaller for his little piece of corn head. And then friends, let's go back through these accessories. I'm going to give him the mustache. I think it's awesome. I'm going to hold down shift, squeeze it to the right size, pull it into place, lift it up or do control up and control down, whichever you prefer. This is kind of nice because I stick it in, but then I can use the black handle to pull it out to the space where it's going to be. Now friends, don't stop with one piece of candy corn. Do control D move your candy corn over and give it a friend i'm also going to fix this see how the head was poking through bang now i've got that arranged i'm going to check it from the side too to make sure it's lined up the way it should be but have fun make your own custom shapes this time friends i'm going to use this eyeball right here once again bring it out shift squeeze to get it to a size that is manageable Control up to get it in place, move it back, and then pop it out with the arrow keys. Control D, nudge to the other side, and of course, let's flip it. Now, I want to add other cool features. This time, I'm going to add a nose. We're going to cheat and use a sweet cube to help us. So, I'm going to draw my nose with scribble. I'm gonna put the work plane right here. I'm gonna bring out a chunk of scribble, and then I want my scribble to just look like this. That's kind of a nose. I'm gonna fill it in, and let me show you how it looks when we hit done. Bang, you can see that can be his nose. Now it's huge, so I'm squishing it down using just the black handles as I adjust it to get it exactly the way I want. Now I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground because that makes the arrows make more sense. And I can nudge it back and over and out until I find the spot where I want my nose to be. Make it a little bit taller, could rotate it a tiny bit, but I think that turned out pretty cool. You get to pick what color you want your nose to be. I'm gonna go with a custom uh, yellow orange, so it's kind of there in the middle. I think that is pretty fun and fantastic. Now I want to add a smile. Now the smile needs to go this way. So that's where we use the cube again to do our scribble smile. I'm going to give them a little derpy smile. There's a little tongue hanging off them. You can have fun, make these as cool as you want. Just go crazy building the cool things for your awesome little piece of candy corn. I'm going to grab just the mouth, move it into place use those black handles to get it the exact size I want push it in with those arrow keys I'm gonna do alt shift so that it shrinks in every direction so I can get the exact right size and then I'm also gonna rotate it a little you can have so much fun making these look the way you want now I don't know what color it should be I'm gonna just pick something fun you also can just have fun exploring the cool colors you want to add to your awesome piece of candy corn. The last thing I'm gonna add is some funny hair. Once again, using the work plane over here, I'm gonna draw with scribble, and I'm just gonna make a chunk of hair that goes like this. Bring it back a little bit, and then watch this. When we bring this in, you can see how that's almost gonna fit the head. I'm gonna make it skinnier though, and I'm gonna bring it back to the head, Let's shut off, let's put the work plane back on the ground. Then we can move it into place, control up, raises it up. And if you look at that, <laughs> it sticks out too far. Not a problem, I just shrink it back to where I want it. I'm gonna make it a little wider. I think I'm gonna make it a yellow. Ooh, I like that. And then I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna nudge over, but I'm also gonna nudge back and do control up. So it's gonna have a little bit of a move to it. I'm gonna change my nudge to 0.25. And then if I do control D, it repeats. Now I do control D on the next one, and I'm gonna cancel that by doing some control downs. 
so it's in a different spot so I'm trying to customize it and then I'm gonna do control D and move that one out and do control down so it's moving over and I'm gonna give it a tiny rotation too so you're just playing trying to make something that looks pretty darn cool there is my fun and fancy hair you can make it a group so maybe you want to squish it all together once you've got it built I was able to hide the candy corn and then when I do show all you can see you can get it to the exact way you want friends real quickly before we wrap up don't forget you've got so many cool things on creatures and characters you could bring out the hands and add them to these people just remember you shift squeeze to get them to the size that you think is most appropriate and then just have a blast making these awesome little candy corn characters the only rule i have for you is to have a ton of fun and of course if you make something awesome i would love to have you share it with me remember all you have to do is click that button generate a link copy that link and then you can reach out and share it with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram gmail and tiktok you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad also, friends, if those don't work for you, don't forget you can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a Tinkercad page with tons of awesome lessons. And then also down at the bottom is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or share link, and reach out to me almost instantly. Finally, friends, I hope you all have a fabulous spooky season. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day